So you need to find a wall to press your feet down into. And the first thing I want you to feel is what it feels like to stand on the wall. You want your ankles, your knees, your hips, your spine, and your ears to all line up in the same line. And just feel what it feels like to reach down into the wall. When you feel the wall push back into you, hopefully there's a reflex that targets your lower abdominals to lift up and in. Some of us have lost that reflex for a million different reasons. And so this is an opportunity to train it back in. So what I want you to do is think about reaching your feet down into the wall and lifting up and in with your abdominals. It's a lift, like you're coming up to the back of your neck. It's not a suck in towards your spine and it's not a brace out. It's just a gentle lift up and in where you can still breathe. You want to feel yourself continue to breathe as you reach your legs strong down into the wall and lift your tummy up and in. Something that's very important that I have not been talking about is what's going on in your feet. You want to feel pressure on the, the ball of this first knuckle, your fifth knuckle, and the center of your heel. We call that a tripod foot. So you want to feel that tripod foot push down into the wall, feel your arches lift, feel your abdominals lift as you reach down with your legs. Once you feel this, you can start to play with pressing super hard with your bottom leg and see if you can start lifting your top leg up. When we do this, many times we'll tend to shorten in our spine. We want to keep this stable, no movement. This stays long and only our leg comes up. May not come up very high, that's okay. Keep this stable. So again, this comes up, this stays stable, and back down. For some of us, it feels very tenuous. If that's the case, you can keep your tippy toe on the wall for a little bit of support. It actually makes a huge difference. And you can just hold this position. And you'll feel these hip muscles right here, the same ones that were working in the clamshell. You'll feel those muscles possibly on both sides working like crazy. The other little detail is to think about turning your knee to the sky. That fires these muscles up even more. When we do that, there's a tendency to rock back in our pelvis. Don't let that happen. Keep your pelvis just the same position it was when we started. You can come back down, come back up again, turning your knee up toward the sky slightly. If you want to progress it even more, bring your legs slightly back, but don't let your pelvis and low back follow. And you can take the mat and hold on to it for stability. You can pull the mat this way to kind of give you more oppositional force that can give you even more stability. It's not cheating. It just helps kick these muscles in more. Lift the mat up as you reach your leg to the sky and back and turn your knee to the ceiling and then come back down. These are pretty hard. Three sets of 10 are plenty on these. And then you switch to the other side and go back and forth for sets of 10.